Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I'm on to do a reading about the divine masculine sensual energy. I want to tap into a little bit about how they see the feminine at this time, what they may want you to know, just what they're thinking about you right now, divine feminine. Okay. So we have the feelings of an awakened heart. And that's been coming up a lot in terms of many of the divine masculines going through their awakening, seeing their divine feminines in a different light. Um, I think before many of them did see you like this, but it was very intimidating, not knowing if you were some type of sorceress or witch or just your whole vibe was just not anything that they've ever experienced before or seen before okay and now that they're going through this awakening of their own um they're really starting to see you as very strong very beautiful very wise in fact i saw a beautiful owl um fly across my window um a couple of days ago and i'm like oh my goodness i really got to look into that owl totem and since then they've been following me around everywhere in fact i'll show you guys a picture of an owl right now it's so random so after I saw it, my son ends up coming into the room and he ends up giving me this. He goes, happy Halloween, mom. And I'm like, honey, it's, it's not Halloween yet. But that's interesting because I actually just saw a huge owl fly by. And so now I'm seeing them everywhere in like storybooks or commercials and things like that. So check out the owl totem if this reading resonates for you guys. It might give you a little message about your masculine or what they may be going through or like how they may be perceiving you at this time. Um, because again, they are just seeing you as someone to learn from, someone who is wise, someone who takes control of their own life. And you don't take crap from people, Divine Feminine. I feel like like you set trends is what I'm getting. You don't follow the crowd. And that's what you were trying to get your Divine Masculine to really open up their eyes to in regards to this whole Twin Flame experience was that like I feel like many of the Feminines were like waiting around for your Masculines to like get into that emperor energy where they don't really need anybody else's validation or opinion um, about how it is they feel um, like what i'm seeing is like many of you are holding space for your divine masculines to finally get into that energy of like they see something they want it and they go after it not i see something it's intimidating and now i'm fearful and now everybody around me is saying this this and that like i don't think that the the two could come together because this feminine here really likes a man that is decisive and is in charge and is in control okay so it's really put this masculine to to think a, a lot of them too have just kind of gone silent um with this energy here okay these are way too many but i think i will just take three so we have the ace of pentacles coming through here as well as the oh the knight of pentacles and the six of cups okay so what i'm seeing with the ace of pentacles is like it's this beginning to this new type of connection being involved with someone body mind and spirit with the three candles here and that's what they've never experienced before um, and i think too like in the beginning when they saw you and they started to get to know you they never thought that it would be this type of um like spark of, of inspiration to want to be in a relationship like this might be a masculine too where it's like he he never thought about relationships like that do you know what i mean like like they would be in relationships sure but always with a, with the intention of like no commitment like if we're in a relationship you just know like i'm not interested in marriage i'm not interested in having kids i'm not interested in making any kind of commitment we're just dating and then he meets his divine feminine and it's like all these feelings come rushing in about wanting to be with you intimately, like wanting to settle down with you, make an offer, uh, start a family because he sees you again as this like independent goddess. You could do a lot for yourself. And I feel too divine feminines for many of you, it wasn't always this way, which is why you might have had that push and pull um, with your masculine. Like a lot of you started off as... um. I don't know, like, like, like you didn't really have a lot of resources or you didn't really have a lot and it made it easy for this divine masculine to, to, to kind of look at you and then, okay, okay. And then look at all of his other options and things like that. And like, I feel like, like that is what 
a lot of them are silent about right now because they didn't expect you to go through a transformation where now all of their options can't even hold a, a, a candle to you. Do you know what I mean? Speaking of the candle, they can't hold a candle to you. And look at the beautiful candles here in this card. What I mean by they can't hold a candle to you, Divine Feminine, like I feel like a lot of masculines in the past, like they always thought that they would find a partner who would just like rely on them and like they would take care of them. But now that they've been in these types of dynamics, like it's not as easy to be with someone who just kind of looks to you to get everything done. Like a lot of them are waking up and realizing that they're in relationships where it feels like they're taking care of like a child or something, like an overgrown child. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these like karmic partners that have been with them have just been with them solely to like shack up and 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 depend on them to kind of go out there and like create and build and then these karmic partners would kind of just sit around and enjoy and and i think that many masculines out there are starting to really see that that whole idea is just really outdated like i feel like when they look at you divine feminine like without a doubt you would build with them i think it would be really uncomfortable for you divine feminine to just kind of sit around and expect this masculine around you to just do everything and to take care of everything and like what i'm seeing with the karmic partners is that like they don't like to push themselves out of their comfort zones and i think that many of your masculines have been waiting to see that happen and it's just kind of like settled into this like routine is what i'm getting okay and that's why i feel like the six of cups is coming through here as well because um you persevere, Divine Feminine. I feel like a lot of you had that to offer to your Divine Masculine where, you know, you really had it in mind that you two would come together, like you two would be building and you would show him what it was like to be in a connection with someone who has respect for him, who honors his time, who honors his energy. I feel like a lot of the times like they're with karmic partners who really don't know how to how to be in love with them okay like this is what i'm picking up on guys like i feel like when it's this masculine's birthday they would quicker throw a party for the karmic partner and the karmic partner would expect that but when it comes to like the masculine's birthday for example there is like no efforts or i feel like this karmic partner doesn't do enough to celebrate their connection with the divine masculine whereas the like how they feel about you or what they've observed about you divine feminine is that like you would be again that type of partner to celebrate them and support them and and genuinely love them but i feel like it's just not like that in this karmic situation that they're in and they're starting to open up their eyes and see uh, the truth and it's just a little uncomfortable right now but yeah keep on keep on trucking divine masculines you guys are gonna be just fine and i feel like if many of the the my, divine masculines are realizing this awakening is happening to them a lot of them are looking at their divine feminines as okay you know what like if she got through her whole like tower moments and the dark shadow and all of that inner work like maybe i'll get through it as well so now a lot of them are just kind of learning from you like what did she do during this time like what was she doing what was she doing i want to say during and doing and i can't seem to get it out what was she doing during this time like when i could feel it energetically that she might have been struggling with something like where was she and a lot of them are realizing that it's like oh wait a second you were MIA, just like they're being guided to just go MIA from everything right now. All right. So yeah, that's just basically what's on your masculine's mind, the way that they see you right now, Divine Feminine. If you guys want to check out some more, s some more sensual messages in this uh, same format here, go ahead and check me out on Patreon. I actually used my uh, erotic deck in those readings as well. I can't use these on uh, YouTube just because some of the messages are really, really explicit um but yeah if you guys are interested in seeing messages from this deck which is a little a little bit more erotic then check out that patreon reading but yeah that's what i have for you guys for now enjoy your weekend take care and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye